Welcome to Healthy Ever After and I am nutritionist and chef Fiona McEnroy and today we are going to be making spaghetti nests and meatballs. There are two steps to this recipe. First we will make the nests and then we will make the meatballs. So roll up your sleeves and let's get started. And here are the ingredients. This recipe makes enough for 24 nests. Add your spaghetti to simmering water with a pinch of salt. After 5 minutes, drain the spaghetti and rinse under cold water. Lightly beat two eggs together and grate some parmesan. Now it's time to add all of the ingredients to the spaghetti. First start with your two eggs, then start with your shredded mozzarella, then add your parmesan and finally your marinara sauce. Then mix all the ingredients really well together. I find it's much easier to do this with two forks. Next we need to grease our cupcake tin before we add our spaghetti to it, otherwise it will stick. Then you can begin to add little forkfuls of spaghetti to each hole. This recipe contains enough spaghetti to fill two trays, so that's 24 uh, spaghetti nests. Now I am using the bottom of this small glass to firmly press down to create a nest inside. After you have completed this task, you can place the two trays in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. And now for the meatballs. Start by finely dicing your garlic. Then take a big bunch of parsley and start to chop that up as best you can. Now that we have that done, we can start to assemble our meatballs. We do so by first adding the breadcrumbs, then by cracking one egg directly into the mixture. Then we can add our garlic and our parsley. Then I am adding a little salt and pepper as well as a tablespoon of oregano, dried or fresh, and a little bit more parmesan. Now it's time to get your hands in there and squeeze the mixture together until it is well combined. Then begin to roll the meat between your hands, creating evenly sized balls. going to gently fry the meatballs being careful not to break them up. I am adding two tablespoons of olive oil to a medium heat frying pan. In order to help them to brown evenly on every side I like to take two forks and turn them over so that they're all browning equally together. Then when I'm happy they are almost completely brown I add my marinara sauce. Then I allow my meatballs to simmer gently for around 10 minutes. Then all you have to do is spoon one meatball into one nest and spoon over a little bit of the sauce and you're ready to serve. And remember, only serve what you are ready to eat. You can keep the nests and the meatballs in separate sealed containers in the fridge for up to two days. The nests are easily reheated in the microwave and the meatballs on the frying pan. And that's it from the Healthy Ever After Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as my family did. See you next time.